Effects here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Bailey from Damage Control. So Bailey is the chase this month. She is a defensive showboat and modern era. She has the raw link. Any color moves start with one more move point. The damage control link. Blue moves start with eight more MP. Modern era gems do 5% more damage and she has the stock damage control here. She is a trainer and an extremely good one. At 6 star, green moves that deal damage will deal 100% more damage. Green moves start with 2 more MP. This is incredible for Acrobat Live. Uh, it's also crazy good for triple green uh, Sammy, um, triple green um, Bret Hart. A uh, lot of really good uses for this, um, this trainer. Uh, it's one that I definitely will want and we'll take her six star right away for that trainer ability uh incredibly useful so this is probably going to be a little bit shorter than most of my previews i actually only have two builds uh for bailey the the other two moves are very uh showdown tag team dependent nothing wrong with that uh you guys have maybe seen um jimmy with his tag in and tag out move the force tag how useful that is in showdown um also hall of fame lita has one well so does bailey 5 mp deal 276k damage force your opponent to tag uh, so you can force out um, and get a more favorable matchup also you can reduce your tag by five or by three i'm sorry and uh tag in your teammate so for example you could run her triple blue um hit your trap gems hit these two moves have your mp trainers on her Tag in Dakota Kai uh, with her and not need any of the MP trainers. So you could start out essentially loaded without having the disadvantage of having to use any MP trainers. Uh, so it's going to be incredibly useful. I just wanted to cover that, those two moves. And that's probably the reason why there's only going to be two build sets. You could maybe do some different stuff, but I think these are going to be the predominant move sets. And then also uh, Strap. I have armor on for her because of the way her build works. Um, 133% move damage metal yellow. Um, nothing else really of notable note on there. And no uh, skill plate for this whole preview. Not going to use a skill plate. Um, any of the generic ones would work pretty well. Head games, cheap shot, that kind of stuff. Um, so, first build set seated arm bar, 7 MP yellow. Choose a submission. Choose 7 gems to make into blue sub gems. Do 189k damage for 3 turns. Remaining turn into protect gems to strength 44k. Diving elbow drop 139k damage and choose 9 gems to destroy. That's also 7 yellow MP. Belly to belly suplex deal 142k damage and choose 6x6 area. Make into trap gems if broken by you deal 93k damage. Increase your yellow MP by 3. Broken by your opponent steal up to 93,000 health. Um, so that's going to be pretty good. Easy, really easy to recycle. Uh, Entourage, yellow MP to start with Kofi, blue with Lawler, one with Santa Hogan. Uh, Drew's on there for one more turn on the sub. Could also replace him, potentially, if you wanted to go that route with the destroy. Um, and I believe... Is there... No. Or a yellow one. Yeah, Hall of Fame Andre, if you wanted to destroy one more. You're going to get more out of Drew, though, than something like that, to be honest. Um, or yellow, like move damage. Uh, I think Drew's going to be useful. Train a little bit better. Uh, so let's get out. And also, if you don't have 17k Santa, no big deal. Just run two yellow MP trainers because this loads the traps. Uh, it just maybe takes slightly longer, but not much. I really wish I had a six star bronze opponent to go against because this drains a lot of health fairly quickly. And I wish I knew how many cycles it would take. I kind of think it's going to take three cycles. Um, at six star, it might take four, um, but you're gonna see uh, it works really well. You basically go forever, so unless they have an escape artist plate, um, good luck. Because of the way it works, you're choosing blue, so three blue gems load the traps again, and um breaking the traps loads the yellows so everything is going to be loaded after this um yeah 
you can see um we're just one short right now which will load on our turn no big deal and you can just look at her life melting away as she's breaking those traps um so i think this is going to be extremely fast you can also do a ton of interesting stuff um if you feel like it you got like pin bar to play with you can reload the destroy super simple like just by doing this uh let's destroy three of them Okay, uh, we could do it again. You can see it's already done, so uh, we probably shouldn't play with our meal, right? So you could do the sub again if you can set up destroys if you want. Like, it really doesn't matter. Um, she's incredibly effective. Um, so I think she's going to be really good uh, and quite quick this way. And unless they have an escape, escape artist plate, um, good luck. And the one downside is they do break kind of slowly like this. Not a fan of this. Um, that it would be the downside. But super powerful build. Um, recycles incredibly easily. And just does a bunch of damage. So, uh, pretty impressive. Alright. Uh, last move set for you guys. Is going to be uh, double purple yellow. Um, this one, if we ever get double armor, or no, sorry, armor 2, um, will be ridiculous. It'll be incredibly hard to kick out of this. Um, anyway, let's put the moves in. Rose Plant Finisher. Coming in. The um, Saito Suplex is coming in. It's only 6 MP. I love 6 MP. And 6 MP running knee. So Rose Plant 10 MP finisher, deal 190k damage plus 18,000 bonus damage for every trap gem. Running knee, 6 MP, deal 128k damage and make 20 random gems into traps. If broken by you, make 2 random gems into protect of strength 134k. If broken, sorry, broken by your opponent. If broken by you, increase your purple MP by 2. And the Sado Suplex, deal 130k damage and choose by 3 area to swap into yellow. Entourage. The handy Leto feature for this one. Uh, Woods for 4 more MP to start. 6 star Dakota Kai. Trap gems do 50% more damage. And you create 2 more. Our truth Yellow finishers do 40% more damage. And Rikishi. That way it'll be charged in Feud, the finisher, with a 2 by 3 match. Uh, the other neat feature about this is you can um, get the trap gem move off twice and have more traps on the board to start. I will show you what I mean. So if you throw your trap gems first, you need to break three of them to increase your purple MP by two. So as long as trap gems line up where you can break three, which they usually should, just need to break at least three. Um, I guess I'll take the area here. I'll break a few more. Reloads the trap gem move. You can toss it again, and this would also help you recycle, holding back the yellow move again after your first time through. Finisher, the 500k with the with the move damage metal we have, plus all of the bonus damage here. Should hit for about 1.5 million. Rose plant, love that animation. 1.5, actually 1.6, and then every time she breaks traps... We're going to get a bunch of huge Protect Gems on the board. So, again, I wish it was a 6-star, because 6-stars kick out of everything. It still does pretty good damage, and even if they get a turn and they're loaded, you're going to have big Protects on the board to protect you. Um, so I think that's going to be very effective, too. I think both are really good movesets. Um, both really fun to play. I think Bailey, like I said, is great. Uh, let's take a look and see where she fits into the Lady Showboats. I like that you don't need a plate. I like that she's low charge in one of the builds. A lot of stuff to really like. Uh, not to mention her trainer is like literally top mo notch. Let's go to Ladies and Class Showboats. Um, I don't think I... So, um, 
I think in her own way, uh, trainer wise, she's certainly way better than Lita. And I think she is potentially going to be faster than Lita. So I think she's every bit as good as Lita. Um, I don't have her at six star to play, uh, or I mean, a six star opponent to face, but I would rank her, uh, extremely good, right? Like, and um, unless they have an escape artist, the sub build will demolish anyone. So I would put her towards the top of the, the ladies. That combined with the training ability, to me makes a no-brainer someone you're going to want to take to six star at the end of this MLC. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have those defensive shards ready to go. I have. I hope I do. Um, I think I do. Um, so yeah, I think she's great. Welcome addition. Both of these lady superstars are amazing. You think we'd get EO Sky some point this month? Who knows for sure? Um, but I would assume with the damage control and the tag link, very useful. Bailey's going to be in showdown, both uh, uh, guy and gal, because she's got that tag, force tag. That'll be clutch uh, in general. So great addition. I'm really excited about this MLC, and hopefully I get her. So let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.